Welcome. Today we're going to take a look at a craft extension uh, for creating a table of contents in craft for your, any document you want. Uh, that's really it. If you want to support the channel, you can become a member, curtismichael.ca slash membership if you want to, or you can take a course, sorry, well, I'm all over the place this morning. Uh, curtismichael.ca slash education. Uh, members get all my courses included. Buckle up, let's look at a craft extension. So I came across this extension in the craft forums and you can see it here uh, by HXU uh, and it can be purchased or not purchased, it can be acquired on GitHub or you can download it right here. When you download it, what you're gonna get is a craft X file. I've actually already talked in my previous um, blog post about this, how you install it. So you actually need to turn on uh, the developer preview and then you need to install it by grabbing the file but I've already done that. So let's take a look at the extension. So to access it, I'm gonna hit the extensions icon here. I'm gonna hit table of content and it's gonna generate. That's really it. So it's gonna show me kind of my headings, right? Video lights, I can jump to video lights. And if I open it up, I go to audio. Some of the audio things I would like for my office uh, or desk accessories, right? Take me to desk pads. Now, a few things I don't love about it, I go to all documents and if I open up, oh, let's say getting started with craft. This is my course that's coming up and I go back over to table of content. It is still my old table of content from my old document that I was looking at. So a little less than ideal. To get a new one, you have to exit, hit table of content again, and now it has all of my pages here uh, in craft to look at so I can see them. So right, basic craft settings. You need to work on that aspect clearly because there's a question mark behind it. Um, the other thing I'd love to do is, really I'd love if you were in here, table of content, and you clicked on, say, craft theme options, it would actually just scroll to that area. But it doesn't, that's just an API limitation when the plugin was written, when the extension was written. So overall, I think it's a pretty good extension. I like to see that we're seeing some stuff moving in craft, and I'm just, I'm gonna keep covering some of them as they come up. If you like the video, thumbs up below. If you loved it, subscribe, hit the bell. YouTube will let you know something happened. But honestly, turn off your notifications. You got other things to do, like, you know, read stuff like that. Schedule your YouTube time. Uh, to support the channel, become a member, curtismichael.ca slash membership. You get all my courses included. Or you can take one of my courses, curtismichael.ca slash education. We're actually working on a craft course coming up. So you can get that when it comes out. Have an excellent day.